that I that good. I make you think that is me. Man, it is you. Amen. That's why you look for them. When you find and you pray, amen, you submit. You submit to your will to the will of God. And you were mad because she was saying to the I am about to release what God has placed in me. I'm about to release it. And my flesh is not going to stand away. That's why it is. We need a true prayer. It's hard to pray. Hard to pray. When you are disconnected from the world and connected to God, to the world. Disconnected from your world and connected by faith to the will of God. Because most things that are bringing injuries is the things that we see around us and the negative words that we allow ourselves to hear and entertain. You hear it and then you need to do it. You can hear it and say, I can't do it. I'm not a devil in the life. But you let it play and play and play. Rewind it again. Play it and play and play. And then now you start to add to it. And now that, now, not knowing that, that point now is going to develop in you a stronghold, a restriction. Because now, just remember, saying will is to go above God's will. To a stronghold is anything that is above the will of God for your life, above God's word. Because faith wants want to be glorified. And the stronghold wants to make something itself above the knowledge of the word of God. When we put in three times, we begin to see. We begin to experience a great outcome. It like the release of the Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah. And we be in touch with God. And I'm telling you, the disciples were in touch with God. They were in touch with God. They think that God, we, the Bible says, great old ways we shall do in these. Hallelujah. But we have to make ourselves available. Look at your ladies and ladies, you have to make yourself available. Hallelujah, that's how you make yourself available to that job. To do and perform the best of your ability in the position that you have on the job for the good. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to make ourselves available to God so God can use us. Mm-hmm. If you don't make yourself available, then you will not be used. Yes, sacrifice but it's sacrifice. It's going to take sacrifice to make yourself available. Because things that you used to do, you can't do no more. Mm-hmm. Words that you used to say, you can't say no more. Because you can't allow them to come from your mouth. But that will be used to edify, exalt, and comfort. Make it yourself available. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 Or a new prayer, you're making yourself available. You have to be disconnected from every negative thing that I'm trying to teach you back. In fact, and in praying things as well, it will cause me to be disconnected from those things that the devil has designed to bring death in you. That's why the Bible says, on the day of your past and word, you must take in knowledge. You must take in knowledge. That means you get in the word, the word, the word. You eat the word of God. Jesus says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by the word that proceeded out of the law of God. Since the God that spirit should be eaten more than your flesh. Amen. 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 That's too far. I think that spirit should be eating more than the flesh. Mm-hmm. If you've been feeding your flesh seven times a day, you need to switch it around and feed your spirit seven times a day. And give your flesh food for two times a day. Amen. That's too far. You're not going to die. 
Because whatever you feed the most is going to be the strongest. If you seek the spirit the most, then you'll be led by the spirit of God and not led by the flesh and not, not led by your sight. What is the operation is one of the operation of the of the senses. Hallelujah. We see that in the book of Acts. We see that miracles, signs, and wonders were taking place. They was not, uh, people were not following miracles. They were following the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as they followed the gospel of Jesus Christ, they get a miracle. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. They were not after the signs and wonders. They were after the good news. Because it is the good news that brings forth the signs and wonders. If you get the gospel of Jesus Christ in you, you have a miracle. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, Amen. Because the, the gospel of Jesus Christ is Jesus. Amen. It is Jesus. It is His Word. And it is His Word that creates miracles. Amen. That manifests miracles. Once that Word gets in you, that Word will make you free. That word will make you free. 